Hey everyone, I came into work today and everybody was wearing the same blue shirt. So it's not a problem for me because I've got this. Check this out. What about that? Or maybe this. Or even this one. Yeah, that'll do. So let's jump into Premiere now so we can figure out how to do this. So let's start off by dragging a clip into our timeline and then go into the Lumetri color panel. You can choose window and go to Lumetri color and then it will pop up on the right here. From this panel, we're gonna to go to HSL secondary tab. So from here, we're gonna check the color picker right here and select the color that you want to mask out. Then check color gray. So everything that's gray will basically be not shown. It's a bit like a mask and everything that's colored will be shown. So our t-shirt was blue. So the first selection you're gonna make is H for hue. And this, the top arrow will select the color range you're looking for. So if it was yellow or reds, so ours is around blue, so that's the color that we're looking for. And the bottom arrow is the amount of feather of the color that we're looking for, or the range here. And we can move this back and forth here. So it's around the blue area. The S stands for saturation, and we want to try to get all the color of the blue in the, in the shirt. So we're going to drag this as much as possible right here. And if you move these sliders in, you can see what's going on. That's, we can move this around. You'll see the color of the shirt change as we move this in and out. So again, let's try to get that as much as possible here. Our last selection is luminosity, which is basically like lighting. So we want to move this top arrow. So now you can see if I move it too much, the background will come in. So, and the bottom one is really just the feather. So we want to try to move this just to where the shirt itself is showing right here. So be a little bit by there. We have a little bit of overplay here. And we can try to move this around and you can see what happens depending on where you are. Now you're going to have to play with this depending on what um, your picture is. You can also change the color gray to black if this gives you a better idea of changing the color. You can see it's still picking up a little bit on my hair. Not that I have much hair, but also on the inside of my arm here. So we can play around with different settings here just to see if it gets better or worse, for example. So we want to try to, that seems like it got rid of the arm, but then we have more on the shirt here. So you can play around to get the best effect that you're looking for. But you get the idea. So you play around with these three levels, hue, saturation, and luminosity, to try to get as much out as you can. And I'll go back to the color gray. So once you play around with it and get it as best as you can, here there's still a little bit of uh, shadow in here, but the rest of it doesn't look too bad. The next thing we can do then is just use a little bit of blur here, which helps feather the edge a little bit. You can see if I go too far one way or the other, it will just help blur the edges a little bit and help. Now the next thing we want to do is go down to the colors here, click on this, and then drag your color over to somewhere where you want here to another color. Then you can just change the temperature a little bit if you want it a little bit more. And then if we go back and take a look at that, you still see some of the blue hue in there. So you still can play around with all of these things, but pretty much that's it. That's your effect. So now you have a different hey color everyone, shirt on. I came into work today and everybody was wearing the same blue shirt. So. Hey 
Hey everyone, I came into work today and everybody was wearing the same blue shirt. So it's not a problem for me because I've got this. Check this out. What about that? Or maybe this. Or even this one. Yeah, that'll do. So let's jump into Premiere now so we can figure out how to do this. All right, that's it, I think. Um, hope you get something out of this one and we'll see you on the next one. All right, thanks a lot. If you like this type of stuff and want to take it further, visit our webpage to take a full step-by-step -step course on Adobe Basics.